temper the strength of my units. Okay. We have expensive stuff. There's like four four baby owls. So look at the baby baby burrowing owls. The cutest thing. And they're always chirping around and they're looking at night. They're they're trying to learn how to hunt. And it's, the owls they come and guard certain spots. And it's, I don't know. I feel I feel safe with them around. <laughs> owls make me feel safe. Okay. So apply spell weakness two to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room, or rage gains an additional stack. Let's try a rage build, guys. Let's try a rage build. Because you know what? We do have Fledgling Imp. Alright. So when in Rome. Wait. And Revenge Rage. It's all coming together. When in Rome. Do like the Romans. And get mad. See that wasn't a part of history. But. Today we're rewriting history. Smork. Guys, we got a rage build in full effect. It's unbelievable. The amount of rage we're about to feel is out of this world. I mean, take a look at my dude. I'm also very bad, so there's that. One second, someone's at the door. Someone's at the door. One sec. Alright, what's going on here? More rage! Say it ain't so, brother. Say it ain't so, brother. But he wants to get revenge, because if he gets revenge, then he gets more angry. Now here's the problem. This shit right here is pretty good. You can see my guy alive. But this shit right here says pyro health. So what do we care about? Guys, my hair day is crazy today. Someone tell me my hair is so bad today. How do I fix this? <clears throat> Five pyro health versus... I mean, this guy's probably going to win the battle anyways, right? So if he's gonna win the battle anyways, then why don't we save pi five power health? Because we are kind of low, you know. In Central Twenty Five, we are uh, starting off with only uh, what forty life. Not that bad. Okay, not that bad. Uh, it's not even in the spectrum of good. That's okay. I'm just molding. All right. If this guy dies. Is there a transfer I can put in front? There is. Okay, so this is actually. So I say five power health then, right? <sighs> Go insane. Wait, if I just put the entire some days on the boss, it's just game over, right? Anyways. So you put tires some days on the boss and it's game over? Oh, we didn't get tires some days. <laughs> Try every time. Oh, if I don't get tired some days, that's terrible. So now I now I can't play the day. Oh my, that's terrible. Sure, that is quite terrible. I'm saving pyro health. Okay, so in this world we have frostbite to kill the backline. Or we can do fledgling imp on, on front of our guy and get him super big. Problem is this guy in the back is going to be doing damage, damage, damage on damage. Is this worth it? Does this kill the boss? Ah, but then we take even more. Alright, we took fire damage from the purge. Okay, we ended up taking power damage anyways. Um, oh well, you know what? I'm not too worried about it. More fledgling nymphs. Oh shit! Trago with the 1500 biddies. Man, that's cool. Thank you, dude.
Thank you, thank you, thank you for the biddies. What, what emotes are these? These are like cupcakes? Is this somebody's birthday? Is this your birthday? Are you giving me gifts on your birthday? Wait, wait, so this is not right. Somebody needs to give something to Troyquil. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. We have to give him something. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make like a song with emotes, but uh, it doesn't really translate very well. Anyways, um, we're gonna send a unit and we can do more fledgling rage stuff because every stack of rage does even more, right? So there's eight, the rage imp is probably pretty valuable, maybe. Versus the ability to send. Okay, I'll take the ability to send. Apply spell weakness for Titan's graduate because we do have two Titans tooth. You know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Alrighty, guys. Let's get an upgraded on a unit and get a new unit to put, or we can upgrade some spells. Now, the spells we want up. Let's take a look real quick. If there's a duplicate, maybe we upgrade an early spell. No early duplicate. Let's duplicate over here. So, what spell would we like to duplicate if we were to upgrade something? We can duplicate. What if we make Tiresome Days cheaper, Tiresome Climb cheaper, and we also give it something like um, Holdover? Ah, that can handle leakage. Hitting passive could be a little bit lower, that could be kind of good. I think we want to get an upgraded unit, yeah? Something like Deranged Brute? Let's take a look. Endless, ooh, Endless Rage Imp, that could be nuts. And we get health as well. Endless Rage Imp. Ah, Strike, that's pretty good. That goes well with my multi strikers, right? And do we give health to the Alpha Fiends? I think he's gonna scale up. He's gonna be our tankage. We don't actually. We actually don't have pip space for. Um, we don't have pip space for the endless imp and our Alpha Fiend in the same lane. So, Alpha Fiend and the our champion can't really be in the same lane. I think. I think our champion wants to be a, a tank because it has revenge. Am I wrong? Or am I right? Let's try some endless rage, guys. I mean, how much does he really want to get hit? You know what I'm saying? So now I want to ascend my guy because I have all these rage imps and there's nothing to rage on them. Ah, fuck, now I can't play the things I want to play. Oh, it's almost lethal. Can wants to tank and kill the leakers not be the main tank? Got it, got it, got it. Okay, well we win, but our power help is getting a little bit low. We gotta just try to stabilize here. Sacrifice imp seems pretty good, considering I got a lot of imps and one of them's endless. That seems pretty good. It could also help me get slay on my guy. So if I do 50 damage to the front line, my guy can maybe get slay a little bit easier. That seems really good. So vent is AoE though as well. Offering token helps me play some of these Titans uh, tooths, which is not the worst, right? Seems like it might be okay. On average, maybe, maybe. This guy goes in the top lane to get some armor. How do we feel about this guy getting some armor? What about a tank that gets armor when you play spells? That could be useful. Doesn't the Hellhorn have armor, armor stuff like duplicate armor, do damage of armor? But like we don't have those cards, so I don't know if I really want to play around that. I think this is a rage build through and through. We're a really kind of ragey place. I could try to take an armor thing, but I don't really have ways to interact with armor in a very positive way. And if I don't have a way to interact with armor in a positive way, then I think the armor is kind of a eh, piss poor mediocre stat in this situation. Um, so I don't know. I can put a steel work in the top. I mean, he can fit in the top. I'll put him in the top lane, sure. But it's also like a bloat. I think it's a bloating unit. 
Go for artifacts and some power health. We can go for more upgrades on these units. We can upgrade and look for multi-strike on our alpha fiends because he does do well with multi-strike. And that multi-strike would be really good with rage. Multi-strike, rage plus this. Alpha fiend would be pog champ. Absolutely pog champ. We're a little bit low on gold though, right? An artifact can be kind of more... Can help me... You know, go in a direction. Gives me some, some more power. I don't know. Is multi-strike really what I want here? To look for my alpha fiend, that's the best in slot, or do I want to maybe get some power health and, and an artifact here? I don't know. Well, this would be very strong. Let's take a look over here. Take a look, see. Demons get multi strike. Whoa, well, okay, I got multi strike in the relic. Oh, god damn. Okay, huge. Next, we have a duplicate. All right, you got a rare, woken, melting, or umber. Let's take a look at the logbook. Uh, woken is going to be things like channel song, shard, channel there. Some of these are really big hits. Some of these are big misses. Some of them are hits. The quick and and full heal. And some of these are hits, right? So we have the other one was a umbra. Some of these are hits. Some of them are really big misses. Like, Trample's good, and Kindle's okay, and Furnace Steps, whatever, and Tread my, Tread my Toasters is a miss, Forever Consumed is a miss, Overgorge is kind of a miss, Shadow Sheet should be okay, eh, a miss, there's a lot of misses in Umbra here, and then we have, I think the most misses in this, although, okay, Formless Child is pretty good, actually, Remnant Impact is pretty good, Big Sludge is kind of interesting, um, Wiggles Recruitment is kind of a dead card, yeah, first step seems really good. The thing is, I think there's a lot more misses in the Umbra. Howdy, howdy, great poison. Let's get let's get some healing. Restore a unit to full health. That seems really good because. The uh, Hellhorns and Stygian don't have healing, but now I have Multi-Strike Demons, so if I can heal them up, the, typically you have Lifesteal, but since I don't have Lifesteal, I, I get some healing, I can maybe put a hold over and unleash the Wildwood, and that could be very good to keep my things alive. I have these big, chunky, scaly Multi-Strike Demons, and I keep them alive. Giving a unit spikes and 10 health, that could be interesting, but I think that there's always Unleash the Wildwood here. Am I right or am I wrong? Alright, let's take a look at it. All right, let's go ahead. We got the Multi-Strike Relic. This is a really good start. If I screw this up, guys, I, I don't know what to say. If I screw this up, I don't know what to say, brothers. So he wants to be his own tank, you're saying? I have an endless chump blocker. Look at that, guys. An endless chump blocker. That's kind of nuts, right? Keep my guy healthy. Then I, got, I have a guy scaling in the bottom of multi-strike. Oh, baby. Alpha Fiend, I can heal him up, too. We have Impressive here. Oh, I, I ruined my own imp. Oopsies. I gotta heal him up with Unleash the Wildwood. It's coming. Unleash the Wildwood is coming. Unleash the Wildwood is coming. It's here. Um, I could do Tower Storm Climb on the boss and end the game like that, right? If I do Tower Storm Climb here, does that just win? Does that just not just win? Tower Storm Climb on the, this guy right here? 
He'll be dazed for one turn, but then after that he just kills. Doesn't that just win? Or doesn't this just win, actually? Don't I just do this and then daze him? It's game over? Like, 100% game over? Hell yeah. Alright. Discard your hand, draw 5, apply armor to a unit, double an armor on a unit. So double an armor on a unit. Does that is that good for my Homebreaker Prince? So when he kills something, he gains armor. Is there a world where I'm doing Reinforce and making him have a shit ton of armor? Or is Alley of the Ancients, on average, a little bit better? Because doubling armor, he needs to kill like two things to get value out of that. You gotta go out. Hey, yo, enjoy your birthday, Trickle. Thank you so much for the biddies. I wish I could give you a gift back. And uh, I'm mean, hopefully my streams could be a gift in some capacity. Have a great birthday, man. Uh, I think you're turning 21. Fresh and new. Fresh and new 21 year old. I don't know your age, but hey, have a good one, man. Take care. Brand new 21 year old. I think Alloy. Alloy. This is a little bit harder to play, and I don't think I have. Okay, I could do double armor on this guy at top as well. I mean, this guy could also get crazy double armor as well, but. The offering does help me play Titan Steep sometimes, but the thing is, we um, we did pick up an offering token and a Titan's Graduate for that. I think the alloy is a little bit better. Reinforced, like I said, could be useful for the Steel Worker, but how good is it to make Steel Worker have double armor? I mean, it needs a lot of time to simmer in order to get value. I think it's always alloy, it's just more tempo. We got another Alpha Fiend with Multi Strike. This is a really good unit with Multi Strike. I mean, it gains scaling. I can go for a Horned Warrior, it's a little bit uh, already scaled up, but it's a little bit lower on life, you know? I can put a Titan Sentry as a tank, as AoE tank. You put this in the bot lane, it's an AoE tank. You put this, the Alpha Fiend behind it. That seems really good as well. And no, it seems bad just not taking these multi-strike demons because they're very powerful, but if I put this AoE tank in the bot lane, then we have Alpha Fiend's scaling behind it. The problem with that is then maybe... Uh, my guy doesn't get as much slay in the second lane because we want my guy to get the, the leakage and get some slay, my, my champion. And if I put a Horned Warrior, if I give him some health, then he's pretty good. But the thing is, Alpha Fiend does cost three pips, it costs two, so this is more flexible. Hydration. Let me get some water. If I put this uh, in the same lane as my, my champion, I can put Rage in him. And uh, his health is a little bit of an issue, but if we give him some health upgrades, then let me see where the next upgrade is. It's an upgrade over here. That might be good. We can give some health upgrades, and he's not as... He doesn't scale like the Alpha Fiend, but he's more less pip space, so maybe he's more flexible, right? What do you guys think? Or do we want like a tank for Titan Sentry, which is also AoE? I think with Multi-Strike, we kind of have pseudo-AoE. Hmm... This is a tough choice. Let me get some water. Let me get a half, half upgrade on Home Warrior. I like the fact that the pip space means that he can fit in the, in the same lane as my champion. And then also, um, I can put like an imp in front. The in, endless rage imp in front. And that might be pretty good. If I get pip space in general, then double alpha fiend is pretty good. If I get pip space. I don't mind double alpha fiend with pip space because then I can put rage imps in front of them as well. Time Sensor is pretty good though. And the final boss is a sapper. Hmm. Double Alpha might be really good. I just need pit space, so that's the thing. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up for an upgrade. If I get energy, what does that help me do? Helps me play more of these spells. If I do pit space, I can put more of these demons in front. Like some of these more of these imps in front, I mean. If I do energy. And I can play my Alpha Fiend a little bit easier. Okay, I'll do energy, actually. And then I'll do pit space next, I think. I know there's a lot of energy relics in this champion pool, but... So if I go here and duplicate, I can also remove. If I go over here and upgrade my spells, I can try to upgrade the uh, Impressive. Maybe do something with that. Upgrade Hidden Passage is okay. Upgrade Alloy is okay. Upgrade Unleash the Wild Wits. I have like Permafrost or Holdover is not bad. If I were to duplicate something, maybe I'll duplicate the Alpha Fiends. And I can put it in multiple lanes. That seems pretty good too. Hmm, I don't care about the stitching union as much, but maybe I don't mind upgrading or duplicating Alpha Fiend here. Maybe I, what if I duplicate Unleash the Wildwood? More healing? Well, one of my units has like... Like no life. 
Uh, that's the Horn Warrior. I'm gonna have to let go of one of my. It's got double raffle, guys. Now we have even more rage. Oh boy. Alrighty, let's go. I think we're pretty strong right now. We're pretty strong at the moment. They're gonna enter with spikes. The spikes is kind of rough, but I get an artifact for it, and I think our guys have some decent health. And we have heal in the deck, so the spikes, even if we... This is going to make our Horn Warrior really bad, but we have heal in the deck. And uh, we have armor when we kill things. So I'm going to go for the spikes just because the artifact I think is worth it, and I have pyre health in the worst case scenario. Here can after the buffs. I have, to play, I have to play some more. I have to play some more. I, just, I haven't played in some time. Let's go ahead and do this. Get the endless going. Now that guy's already raged up. So you put multi strike here, then uh, and unfortunately he dies to spikes, huh? Unless I do frozen lance, then he doesn't die to spikes. But if I do that, then my guy doesn't get a slay. That's unfortunate. So how to make it so my guy gets slay? A frozen lance gives him slay. And then I put this in the back so he hits the that girl. Okay. I'll put Alpha V in the top. My guy gets a slay and then we get um We could do a offering torch here. My guy's gonna get died to spikes here, so if I do this I keep my guy alive. Do this instead. Wait, doesn't this guy already get? How do I make it so that this guy gets double? Um, if I do torch, he kills both of them. He gets double slay. Am I right or wrong? Oh, he doesn't have multi strike. What am I talking about? For some reason, I thought my champion had multi strike. He doesn't. I think duplicating the armor thing now would be good with the fact that I have um. Alright, so my guy's gonna die in the back. I mean, we always anticipate that was gonna happen. Because my guy, my champion doesn't have multi strike just yet. That's unfortunate. This guy was always gonna die to the spikes, though. I think my champion's slayed enough that he's pretty good right now. If I do. Uh, 46, I can never. He has 54, so I can never actually go through there. Let's do that. I think we're scaling pretty well, though, for the most part. We can put impressive here. We can go ahead and get another slave bonus. We can go ahead and kill that guy. And, uh, uh, okay, do I send now? Do I send my guy up now? So they're in the same lane? Probably, right? And if I draw into Tiresome Climb, I can just ascend the boss and it's game over. I should win here, yeah? Gorgeous. I think Purifrost would be pretty good in Tires from Clam, so I can hold on to it until, um... That's really good. Card is really great. Because I also now I have energy, right? And, yo, King Door thinks of the follow. And since I have energy... Getting some cards though would help me feel a little bit better about the fact that I took energy here. Um, more sacrifice imps or sacrifice imp and gain energy draw one. So I can start sacrificing my imps instead of doing damage and get energy and draw from them. Now if I do impish scholar, it returns a consuming spell. And the spells that I play that have consumed are alloy and just alloy. So this brings back alloy. This brings back my armor spell. That could be okay. And then I could also use this imp to sacrifice. And I think... Having a regular consume spell could be pretty good later on because there are more consume spells I'm going to probably have in my deck. So I don't know if I want to bring Alloy back or if I do importing work, I get some more energy. And what do I do with the energy, though? What do I do with the energy if I take important work? I have two imps only. I would need a little bit more imps, right? So I'm taking another Alloy. I think this sounds pretty good, actually. It's pretty flexible. 
Uh, do 90 damage to the front enemy unit if they reach the top. Or Mullus Mage or Cuddle Hux. Apply Frozen to a random card in your hand. I put those in the top lane. And I can start freezing some things that I want to freeze, such as uh, a Titan Stoop I want to hold on to with Titan's Gratitude, a Tyrus and Climb I want to hold on to. Maybe having some ability to freeze is okay, but my deck's a little bloated, huh? A little bit bloated. I want to remove some cards. I also want to upgrade some of these demons, so I'm going to go this way. Let's take a look. Endless to both my imps. So now both my imps have Endless, so I, I constantly have Rage. Let's give some more help to the other Alpha Fiends. Oh wait, no, it's the Horned Warrior. Remember, he wants the, the health. Let's go reroll once. And we got a large stone. Let's have a large stone for one of the Alpha Fiends. Put him in the bot lane. He's a super, super big boy. And maybe we give uh, some damage to the Horned Warrior here. And maybe this wants to be another multi-strike. So multi-strike is best in slot for Alpha Fiends. So I'm going to do this. And let's go get out of here, boys. When you summon a second unit, you draw you gain even more energy. So now, get constant armor. That's not bad either. You can get constant armor. That's actually pretty smart. It's pretty smart. Getting constant armor is actually maybe game winning. I could have thought about that a little bit more. We have Snekawai, which is the fact that it's okay because we have decent energy, or we have more energy with Hell's Banner. I don't even know what to do with this energy, to be honest. I guess I can just take more expensive cards. A part of me is seriously considering getting rid of Hell's Banner, but. Uh, it helps, like, I can get gold, but it helps with me energy drain, with ember drain, in some of the, one of the bosses. It also helps with, um... I mean, there's there's ways I can utilize this energy with x cards and other things in the future. I mean, passing down a, a relic like that is pretty stupid because there's going to be ways for me to use my energy at some point. I think our deck is actually really strong. We have really good relics. I think Hellhorn is actually one of the strongest classes. Especially with the buff recently. I think Hellhorn is one of the strongest clans. Do I not put my multi strike here because this lady has um, this lady has what's it called? She has stealth, so maybe I don't put this guy here, or let's put him here anyways. If I put this here, I can kill some of these things. I wanna, um, I wanna torch the back line, but uh, I can't actually kill the back line here. That's unfortunate. Ah. Uh. Making that guy stronger, unfortunately. I didn't get to get the gold either. I don't know. I, this is why I need some AoE. I mean, I got pretty strong. That wasn't very good by me. If I put this here, I get more out of the rage. If I put this up here, I can't even fit it. My guy gets slayed, which is good. Uh, I can I can now I can ascend my, my my guy now right? If I send him now, now I can put the Alpha Fiend here, the, the the one that's not as good. And then now we have a super lane here. The problem is we can't put the endless imp in front anymore. But I think that's fine because we can put two endless imps here to jump block like crazy. This guy's gonna get big, but that doesn't really matter to me because. Um, he's gonna get chunked really badly, and then he's gonna, then he's gonna get slayed. I think we're pretty strong right now. So that is actually a really strong build, where we have um, our champion is pretty big here. And th this whole idea of like if I if I put this guy up again, now this kill lane is insane, right? So, because she has stealth, 
I think this is pretty strong. Oh, it's not the stealth one. This is the multi-strike one. All right. Well, I think it's GG now. If I play a second unit, I get more more stuff. But I think it's already GG. Let's see if it hit the, the Titan's tooth. Okay. And GG. Right, well, that's, that's a really big beefy lane. I mean, look at that lane. That lane is nuts. What an insane lane. Uh, more movie to the front and apply armor. That could be interesting. If you do it in flame, remember each stack of rage gives an extra additional thing. So this gives me armor and rage. Now if we do double stack, that could be quite insane. Let's really go double stack. Is there an upgraded for magic? There is. We can go to magic and then upgrade that to have double stack. Potentially, if we get lucky. I don't know if that's the best thing I want to do. Do I want to have something like in flame and keep stacking up or are we kind of good? Now if we put Marshall the shields, we can now ascend units and also put them to the front and give them armor and you know, change the orientation of things. Marshall the shields is not bad. I like all these things. Mentality MB with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. March does work well for ascend, I agree. Piercing is not bad because we have a lot of energy to spend, and if we do piercing, we can kill our own imps and also kill like, get AOE damage. So this is not bad. Inferno is not bad because of our endless imps plus a good way to spend energy, and sometimes we need to just do a lot of AOE. I don't know. And Flame's interesting because of the rage mechanic. I don't know if I want to go all in because we decided this is a rage build. So why not go all the way in? And maybe we can upgrade this card and make it even better. I, I, I'm like, I'm kind of eh on. In flame. I think this is good if you get double stack. Then it becomes actually quite nice with double stack. But Martian Shield is a little bit more versatile. Enhance all spells. Let's go ahead and skip all these things. We can do double freeze. Could be interesting. I can imagine double cuddle hex is like a well-laid plan. It's not the worst. So now we have to do we uh, do duplicate on our big alpha fiend. So if we duplicate him, we put him in the bot lane, and then our goal becomes ascend him up, and then we keep ascending him, and then we have twenty thousand huge ass imps. And we send them up and have a really big kill lane. I think that we can't lose like that, right? But remember, she does do sap, so if I, my units get sapped, I, like, it'd be a good, good way to lose. Been watching you on two different today's fire. Keep doing what you do. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the support. The cavern could be interesting as well. Um, if, I, if I duplicate something else that is not the Alpha Fiend, I can duplicate... Hmm... I'll unleash the wild? Nah. Evening, I say, Diver. Evening. I don't know what else I can duplicate. I mean, I can duplicate this really big Alpha Fiend. But then we need to get Ascend more often. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some of these spells. Permafrost on this, I think. So, I'm ready to use it. Let's make... Let's make the, uh, maybe Ascend a little bit cheaper. Now, do we reroll here? Hmm. I don't really have a lot of good uh, upgrades for this. 15 damage is a little bit better AoE. That's probably the best thing I could do. Uh, I think we either purge, actually. Eh, that wasn't the best. Maybe I should have went for duplicate. I might be underestimating just duplicating a big-ass um, Alpha Fiend. And in the event that he dies, I can rebuild him. Or I can do his double Ascend. And sometimes that's good enough. But maybe the Sap is enough to counteract that. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try to get rid of some of these spell shields. Unicap is seven, yeah? Seven on each side, so. We got this guy here. Got this guy here. If you put the, our imp guy here, maybe that's not the worst. Put this guy here. We have another Alpha Fiend ready to go. We need to redraw our imp, or our new imp, rather. Alright, pretty strong. We can torture our own imp here. And redraw into it. I don't hate it. I do not hate it. My guy is really not getting the slay. 
I need to play one more card to torch my imp, and then uh, the problem is impish scholar doesn't bring back anything. And if I torch my own imp, I need to play one more card, and I can redraw the imp and play it again, and start stacking ridge, and then impish scholar doesn't give value. But maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Champions take a hit, yeah. You were right about that. I don't want to discard Tyre from Clam here. My guy is scaling a little bit crazy. But I send my, my Alpha Fiend now? What do you guys think? If I send Alpha Fiend now, it's probably just game over. That's it. Kill them's already ready. And when is it when is the final wave coming? Soon, right? And if the final wave comes, I just do Tyre from Clam on the boss and it's game over. So the final wave's coming soon, no? And if that's the case, then I kinda wanna play. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold on to it like this. So now we have a send ready to go. And as soon as the final boss is here, well, it's game over. They literally can't do anything about this. Let's apply some frost over here. Uh, let's do sacrifice him. I have another alpha thing I can't even play. If I take tip space, then I can sometimes play this. Nah, actually, I don't have space for a lot of these things. If I do this, I get a lot more damage onto the boss. As soon as the final wave is here, though, it should be GG. I can march my champ to the front, or I can do this. Redraw into it, and then I can march in the front and then play it. This is pretty good, and now I play this. We're stacking rage like a madman. Stacking rage like a madman. Our right, final waves, and now we just do this and just GG, right? I play this here. I can probably kill in this lane, to be honest. But let's do this. And it's not even close. It's not even close. Quite a powerful uh, setup we got going on here. When, when played, also effects. Oh my god! So that just repeats all the rage I've added. Isn't that kind of good? Speck of the Hellhorn, I can keep bringing back, so I can add double uh, one extra stack of rage thing because of my. Resonant shard, but if I do transcend the imp, doesn't that just keep uh, replace all the um the rage that I keep adding, right, with my fledgling imp? That seems really good. That sounds really, really good. If I do pit space, I can actually play a little bit more rage gems in the front, and I can do more things like that. So let's do pit space here. And now we just have like crazy amount of rage stacking with our imps, with plus the transcendent imp. And we can remove some cards and look what trinkets we have. And there's a trinket that does rage doesn't decay. That would be very strong if we find that trinket. Probably game winning. So let's go look for that. It doesn't care about the lanes you triggered it summons on, really? Hmm. Take a look what we got here. Rage doesn't decay. Nope. We can re-roll and try to get some of the relics up, but I, I won't have enough money, so. <clears throat> Get a unit to get out of my deck or get a, a, a magic power to like one of my torches and get it out of the deck. So monster real spike. I can put it on um one of these alpha things I don't care about, but I think I'd rather just get it on a a torch I don't care about. And then uh, be on my merry way. So it doesn't care what the lanes you trigger the summons on, really. So it's in all lanes. And now we got raffle three. Wow, wow, wow. And now, duplicate armor would be quite nice. So 
So this guy gets revenge, but I still think we're pretty strong. I think we're pretty strong here. Again, this is revenge, man. Uh, except these guys right here that have a lot of damage in the back, so we gotta be a little bit mindful. Let's do this. Uh, if I do that, then my guy dies. I can put this in tank. If I put that in tank, then I lose the ability to freeze, and I think the ability to freeze is actually quite useful. I think the ability to freeze is quite useful, but do I care about this guy dying? Maybe not, because I have an Alpha Fiend to replace him with. So maybe I don't care about this guy dying. If I do... Roger before he's summoned. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I don't care about this guy dying, because I actually have an Alpha Fiend that doesn't have space. So this is fine, in my opinion. My, my Pyre's going to take quite a bit of damage for that, though. My Pyre cares. This is where you want Frostbite all enemies. This is very good. So, we're gonna go ahead and do... I get how much energy back? Three, right? Now, there's a world we draw into Offering Token, but I think I'd rather just do this first. If I find an Offering Token, then... Uh, well, the problem is my Cutterwork's gonna die here. Hmm. Cutterwork's is gonna die. No matter what, because of the extinguish effect. But I'd rather just guy die here than take power damage, right? RIP cuddle hooks. So we keep summoning this stuff, yeah? Keep my guy alive. Let me put this here. I get a lot of rage. A lot of rage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And if I get Endless and Transcending Imp, this is nutty. Got a guy over there. Wow, 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 wow. Um... Who do I want to torch? Maybe this guy in the back. Let me see if he's a constant. Summon before I cast person. Forget about guys. Exactly, exactly. It's a good thing to remember. It's a good thing to remember. This is a little bit unfortunate. Um, I can ascend my guy now. If I do that, then the problem is I can't do the, the fledging imp scaling anymore, right? And if I do this, uh, I lose both my imps. The problem is the shade wings are the problem. Now I can send one of them up. Send one of them up, then I'm doing a lot of damage to my champion. And it's tough. My champion's gonna take some damage, but I do have a heal in the deck, so. Uh. You can take it, sure. You can take it. So I'll do this. And if I do that, champ can take it. This guy's gonna stay alive. Might you know, I'm take ten power damage? Do I care about that, or do I want to stop that guy? Maybe I don't want to take ten power damage. R R is random, random. This guy's gonna die now, unless I put double double things here, and then I do this, right? So I play this twice. Try to keep my guy alive by doing this. Alright, and we have another imp for this guy. At least he doesn't get the, the revenge, but... Does he care that he doesn't get revenge? I mean, this guy's already getting so big. I keep summoning here. How much he gets? He gets four rage when he gets hit. He's gonna get what? Some form former rage? He has fifty six rage already. It's kind of nuts. I mean, he can take it, right? 
And let's go ahead and play that another, another time. My guys are getting kind of big though. Let's just play this, I guess. Um, I could do this and draw into it again. If I draw into it again, then I can't play Unleash the Wildwood as much. Or I can't. I don't draw into a sadness as often. But I still think maybe this is worth it. So I think my goal here is to ascend my unit and then ascend the boss if it's game over, yeah? My guy is super big. Can I put this guy in front with armor, maybe? Uh, move him to the front, maybe. I think I ascend my guy. Move him to the front, yeah? And we do this. Like, get enough to win, maybe? GG. Wow. Powerful. Powerful. Sacrifice an imp and can gain energy and card draw. Or another imp or scholar for more... Con we only have one consume spell. Um, sacrifice imp. We really want to get endless and transcend the imp now. And I think the game's just like pretty much won. If I get transcend the imp endless. Do I even need important work? I mean, it would help me play more raid gems in one turn. I think it's interesting. Let me go ahead and skip all these. Let's remove some more frozen lances. I just do I just duplicate transcending imp actually? Let's go remove some frozen lances. I could look for endless at the shop. That would have that wouldn't have been bad. That would not have been bad. I think if we move these, our deck is pretty nice. I can duplicate Ascent so we have more Ascent. Let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, this is one reroll maybe. Spells get an extra upgrade slot. How good is that really? Not that great. I start trying to add a random imp to your hand. Does that just kind of bloat me a little bit? I think Impsicle bloats me just a little bit, right? Because I don't have that much space to play these gems. I think it bloats me. I mean, that means I always have value with my, my sacrifice imp thing, but I won't have space to play all these imps. It's free scaling and transcending, I'm sure. The thing is, I don't have pimp, pimp space for it. And if a pig is here, what's up, Wizard of Buzz? Pimp space is going to be dominated by the rage imps. Hmm. Double stack. Double stack uh, of the armor. Double stack days. That could be really good. That's really good, honestly. Four days for the boss is kind of get. It's kind of guaranteed to win. How do we lose when we have four days in the boss? You know what I'm saying? I feel like we can't. Let's go ahead and reroll once. Give us full permit for us, so uh maybe hold on to this when it's ready to go. Or maybe yeah, I feel like once we hold on to that, we have the combo to win the game, it's pretty much over. Let's go start purging some more stuff like frozen lances. Or actually one more frozen lance only. Both percentage of permit, yep, it's really strong. Let's do this. Get that other deck. Can purge another card maybe. I don't need all these torches. I don't need all these Titan Soup to be honest. Titan Soup is kind of whatever. It is AoE, but I think our deck is pretty solid. Let's go ahead and make something else cheaper. Our deck is pretty strong at the moment. If I were to duplicate a card, I would probably duplicate Transcendium, right? Or Double Ascent. I think I'll duplicate to send the imp. I think it's a GG, boys. 
Now our, perma our double ascent combo is ready, so the mid lane is going to be the kill lane. It's going to be powerful. Powerful, powerful, powerful. We gotta be careful with the sap, but if we do enough rage scaling, we should be fine with the sap. In my opinion. This guy is already killing me, so I can't play my, my still worker. Because I want to play Cuddle Hugs behind him. Now there's a world where I do draw here if I play three cards. Uh, I can send this guy later, I suppose. If I play three cards, I can get some cards that I may protect my guy. In the worst case scenario, I don't really care if this guy dies. Okay, I can keep him alive by doing Trent's Tiresome Climb. And then I gotta deal with this stuff in the bot. Ape Scholar is kind of uh, bad right now. And getting rid of this is like kind of a. Eh. So maybe I just let this guy die, maybe? Eh, I'm taking 15 power damage though. If I play Ape Scholar, I can get rid of him. Maybe I don't care about Ape Scholar here. Okay. I'll play one of the Alpha Fiends down here. Yeah, we'll drop back into it 100%, I know. So we'll do that. Save some power life. Maybe keep this guy scaling. Another lane to, that he can sap. Maybe keep this guy alive. I also have two alpha things. I don't really care if one of them dies. Ah, I have so much sap, I can't even kill that guy. Alright, a lot of things to think about here. So if I do... Offerings to Fun Titans 2, if I can get rid of that, keep my guy alive. If I do... Fledgling Imp here, I can kill this. So let's do that. Let's do offering token on that. Keep my guy alive. And let's try to keep this guy alive somehow, some way. Don't know if I can. I have a couple of alpha strikes, alpha things. I don't care if he dies, I, say, I guess. Mm, looks like I can't save him. Yo, uh, neat. Ninas, thanks for the. Hey, welcome, man. Okay, I, I want to let Transcendium scale a little bit more, right? So, I don't think there's any way I can save the Alpha Fiend here, unfortunately. If I let this guy get hit, he gets more rage, so that might be useful. I guess I can save Alpha Fiend if I do. Let me see. If I get this guy armor, he has... Alright, if, if I get him armor, he has 50 for life. I don't need to play two imps in front of him. I can't. Hmm... Yeah, so I can never keep these guys alive. So, this is the worst Alpha Fiend of the two, I guess. Let them die here. I want to kill my own Cuddle Hux. Uh, I let this scale up a little bit more, right? Because they don't have Endless. I do this, he gets less rage, but... Alright, I can hold on to both strengths on the ups here, which is probably better. Now I don't probably care about Cuddle Hawks, because my cards are frozen, I already, I already got the frozen value that I need. So I think I don't really care about... Um... Cuddle Hawks dying here. And I also need to maybe ascend a unit and play Transcending up here, right? Let's take a look. Uh, I need to get some cards off first. So I need to play three cards and see what I get. Because if I ascend one of these units... Hmm. Let's see here. I'm going to send this unit in the back, right? But if I don't send my own Cutterhawks, then I actually can't play my fledgling nip, which I want to do, right? So... Uh, let's see here. I figured it out. Okay, I think I do this. 
I do this. I have to do Wildwood Shield on him eventually. That doesn't count as an imp, unfortunately. I keep this guy alive. Okay, so I, if I do Wildwood Sap on this guy, then we're actually totally fine. The problem is, these guys are staying alive. And we do have Torches coming up, though. So the Torch should kill them. Torch and then... Torch and Torch should kill us both of these guys. And it's actually totally fine. And this guy needs to die somehow. With my Rage Imp. So we do this. This is Cuddlex needs to die at this point. Mm. Do I want one Transcendent appear, maybe? I can sacrifice. Do I want to put both of them in this lane? I can scale them up a little bit more, right? Because there is, um... I want to be summoning a lot more of these uh, fledged nymphs, so this can be scaled up like crazy. I can just play one of them though to get him out of the way. This part is kind of pro problematic in the back. But if I heal my my guy, then it's totally fine actually. So we end turn here. Now I just need to heal my my guy. Why what's up? All right. And the whole point was to like torch these guys in the back, right? So. We have a lot of things to do this turn. So let's go ahead and... Um, Alright, let's go ahead and play some stuff. Alright, let's think about this. Alright. So we want to heal our guy. We want to play... Maybe a transcending up in this lane. Let's do this. We need both torches, so if I do... Tough, tough. It's a tough uh, fight here. Um, I need to kill the back line here too. I don't want Alphafine to die. Ah. Uh, I don't have enough AOE in this deck. What's up, Dirkus? How you doing? Uh, this is some hard turns. Give me a sec. I might have made a mistake already. Is this hold my beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <clears throat> so I guess Alpharman's gonna die. take 34 we're gonna take 54 power damage we're gonna take 54 power damage
I want to keep Alpha Fine alive, then. The question is, I want to keep Alpha Fine alive. If I want to keep Alpha Fine alive, I do it again, right? And I, I, I do keep him alive. And then, we're going to take more than 54 power damage. We're going to end up taking, um, instead of 54, 84 power damage. And if we, if we, if we try to keep Alpha Fine alive, we're taking 84 power damage. Because I need to do a torch on this guy, so I don't take 84 power damage. Uh, if I do transcend the imp, then yeah, we're taking 50, 84. Where that means we have only two life, and we can't let anything leak. Maybe at this point, we, nothing's gonna leak anymore. So maybe we already got through the worst of it. Nothing's gonna leak, and maybe that's totally doable. Maybe no, there's no longer any leakage. We get down to two life, and then it's just like, oh, it's power help as a resource. That's only if I want to keep Alfina alive. If I'm not interested in keeping Alpha Fiend alive, then... We take 84 power damage, and then we say, hey... Two life is all I need. Wait... I oh, thank god they don't get slay. Actually, life is all we need, I guess. This is a really, this is a really good a uh, Titan's tooth. Really good Titans too. Hmm. I need I need to send this guy up and then I need to do wow with them both of them. If I do wow with them both of them, I think we win. The thing is, I want to do four days on this girl, so I need to hold on to it. But I need to send my own guy and put wow with, and then once I wow with ascend, I think it's game over. This is a very good Titans too right here. I can give him armor here. Uh, I could do a Tyson McClub with this guy later on. If I put this guy in front, Horn Warrior, I, I kill both of them. I've wasted my march. If I put march on this guy, he kills the first one and then he does enough damage and then my guy slays the back line. So I fucked up. I I get more rage this way, but I, this guy leaks and I can't have a leaker. So I'm forced to use tiresome climb because I can't really have a leaker. I can't send off. A, uh, I mean, I could send off a now. Send Alpha now. But then I can't do any more uh, fledgling imp stacking. If I send Alpha now, then I can't do my little fledgling imp stuff. When's the final wave? Yeah, that's the only problem. If I send now, then I, I can't keep doing some stacks. I don't know if that matters too much. And more important is just march the shield here, and that like I does. And if I if I force you to touch some climb on this guy, then I, I I ruin some of my win condition against the boss because this four days pretty strong, right? So we, we I guess we give up on the fledgling imp stuff. Sap was pretty detrimental there.
I want to summon another unit. If I do this, I, I can bring my imp back and get another unit summoned, but then... Nah, you can't do days. We tried it. You can't. You can't do days when she's not combat phase. Yeah, I tried it. If I do this, I can get another unit and get more energy, right? If I just play this on something and I draw into two cards, I have a fifty percent chance to draw into fledgling imp again, and I play that, I get energy, and I can play more things, aka tires and climb, and then or unleash the wildwood. Unleash the wildwood would be very good here as well. No, I'm pretty sure I tested it. You can't daze her here. Or you at least you can't do it with Iron Drop Cage. You can't do it with Iron Drop Cage at least. Well, like I said, with Iron Drop Cage it does not apply daze. I I've tested this. I did this unit. Um, does it does it die to the pyre? Three, two. It struggles dying to the pyre, right? So what happens with this unit when I, I can't kill it with the pyre? How do I handle this unit? I want, I want him to keep getting the revenge stuff. Put this guy to the front, he kills that. And then that doesn't kill. That, that kills that, and then that, that stays alive. Okay, if I do it this way, then this guy kills. And then that guy. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Nah, but you, you can move the boss, so like, for instance, uh, I was able to move a boss before the before the final wave, I'm able to do like, drip fall on a boss, or like, ascend on the boss, but then the iron drop just doesn't apply. Okay, so um, all right. So this is where I want to do tiresome climb stuff on the boss. But I want to kill this wave first, right? Because I put the boss. I guess I can put. Hmm, I need to draw my heel. I'm gonna draw into Torch here. But if this is new Tides Climb, this is gonna die anyway, so. 
And I can do offering here and then and Tower Championship would end the game here. My, God, my champion doesn't have a lot of health though. Yeah, I heard that one third. I heard that. Somebody told me it changed my it changed my world. Change my world. If I ascend this unit, um, what, what would I rather draw here? So if I, if I draw the fledgling, I have more energy. So if I, if I do Ascend here, I, I get more energy, potentially, if I draw a Fledgling Imp. And then I could do imp, Important Work. My guy needs to be... Yeah, it's, it's, what, I learned that recently one oh one... Oh, yeah, I learned that recently. Alright, we do this. Let me drop this. And we do this. Now the main problem here is um, I don't want to draw into these imps anymore, right? Because I want to. Mm. I think Tower Climb is still worth it to do. The problem is I don't know how long my busting will last. Still good enough, I think. GG. Two HP, no problem. That was close. Sap was pretty strong against me. I mean, I tried to rage with the sap. Interesting. So we got a rage uh, artifact. We went in all in the rage, and we got so lucky with a multi strike that really brought the together. What is this? I got three achievements. Okay, CEO, game director. Okay. Mhm. Mm Came right into okay, cool. It's my right, first win. Five hundred and one. Wow. That guy's a glass cannon. It's a big team. It's a bigger team than Mega Crit. Mega Crit only had two guys. They have the artist, but like main, mainly two guys. So they have, they have a big team. This is your one. Thank you so much, 9S. Lead artist. Moi Boltami. James Gross. That card does nothing. That card just 8 cost does nothing. I don't know, I do nothing, huh? Vocals. Ooh, SQ card. Production baby. Concept art. A lot of people work in this, in this game. It's a big team. It's a good song. It's a nice song. I like it.
private beta testers. Let's see if we recognize anybody. There's Toma Toma got Theracon. He was in our chat. Thanks for playing.